The Chairman, Independent National Electoral Commission, Professor Mahmoud Yakobo, has pledged its commitment to deepening the use of technology to achieving a transparent and credible election in the country. Mahmoud made this known while meeting with resident electoral commissioners at the INEC headquarters in Abuja. He said, with the overwhelming support from Nigerians on the continuous voter registration exercise, it clearly shows that Nigerians are confident with the commission, hence they will spare no effort to ensure a reliable equipment for a huge free registration, as voters register at the bedrock of any credible election. INEC, in its quest to provide a credible and precise election, particularly for the upcoming 2023 general elections, have continued to strategize with relevant stakeholders aimed at meeting the needs and aspirations of the people. Proud to this, electionary management are here in the nation's capital to discuss salient issues and with more emphasis on the newly introduced online voter registration in the country. Giving an update on the online pre-registration of voters, the INEC umpire said in two weeks of the exercise, a total of 542,576 eligible Nigerians have completed their online registration. Thus, urging registrants with physically impaired to give detailed information on their status in order for the Commission to deliver its mandate effectively. The Commission is pleased with the progress made so far. At the beginning, we gave Nigerians daily update on the progress of the exercise. We also promised to make available more detailed weekly updates, which we started from Monday last week. As at 7 a.m. yesterday, Monday 12 July 2021, exactly two weeks since the exercise began, a total of 542,576 Nigerians have completed the online pre-registration. Out of this figure, 456,909 are fresh registrants, while 85,667 have applied for voter transfer, replacement of the PVCs, update of voter information, etc. The Commission is also able to provide Nigerians with information on the distribution of registrants across the states of the Federation and by age, occupation, gender, and disability. Out of 542,576 online registrants so far, 356,777, or 60%, are young people between the ages of 18 and 34. This is followed by 134,000 719 middle-aged registrants who fall between the ages of 35 and 49 years. The third category is elderly persons aged 50 to 69 years, of which 44,896 Nigerians have registered. Interestingly, some 6,184 senior citizens aged 70 years and above, have taken advantage of the new online opportunity to register. On occupational distribution of registrants, 156,446 are students, 38,217 are artisans, 24,421 are farmers and fishermen, 150 1,145 are businessmen and traders, 35,831 employed as civil and public servants, and 8,334 are housewives. The remaining 129,182 registrants did not specify their occupations. On gender, 321,000 781 are male, while 220,795 are female. In our effort to serve all Nigerians better, the Commission has requested registrants to indicate their disability, if any. 
This will enable us to optimally and efficiently deploy assistive voting devices such as braille ballot guide and magnifying glasses for persons with special needs at polling units on election day. So far, we have data for 6,558 registrants who have clearly indicated their type of disability. Digital information, including state and occupational distribution, has been uploaded on the Commission's website and social media platforms. We shall also continue to provide weekly updates throughout the duration of the CBR exercise. The Commission is aware that not all Nigerians have access to computers, smartphones, or internet connectivity to register online. Accordingly, we have repeatedly assured every eligible registrant that there will be an opportunity for physical or in-person registration at designated centers. Even the online registrants will have to complete their registration physically um, at those centers. Our aim is to activate some 2,673 centers to which we intend to deploy 5,346 officials for in-person registration. However, after consultation with stakeholders, including the security agencies, the Commission is proceeding systematically as we review the security situation around the country. We agree with stakeholders to start from our state and local government offices. This means an initial 811 centers nationwide, made up of 37 state and FCT offices and 774 local government area offices will be established. We have configured enough machines and commenced deployment nationwide for further training of officials in readiness for the commencement of the fiscal registration. We have assured Nigerians that the CBR exercise, which commenced on 28 June 2021, will continue for the next one year. I am glad to report that the Commission has approved the detailed timetable and schedule of activities for the CBI exercise, including the display of the register of voters for claims and objections by citizens at various stages of the process as required by law. The CBI exercise will be held over a period of about 13 months as follows. First quarter, registration of voters, 28 June to 21 September, 2021. Display of the register for claims and objections, 24th to 30th September 2021. Second quarter, registration of voters, 4th October to 10th December 2021. Display of the register for claims and objections, 24th to 30th December 2021. Third quarter, registration of voters, 3rd January to 22nd March 2022. Display of the register for claims and objections, 26 March to 1st April 2022. Fourth quarter, registration of voters, 11th April to 30th June 2022. Display of the register of voters for claims and objections, 4th to 11th July 2022. The list of the 811 centers for the take-up of the fiscal registration nationwide, including their locations and dedicated telephone numbers for each state office nationwide, in case of inquiry by citizens, has been uploaded on our website and social media platforms. We also have the document in hard copies. There's the complete list of the 811 centers where the continuous voter registration exercise will commence initially in our state and local government offices before we devolve further until we ultimately reach our target of 2,673 registration centers nationwide. All resident electoral commissioners here present, 
and media will have a copy of this document um, by the end of this ceremonial part of this meeting. The Commission is not unaware that we have scheduled the commencement of the fiscal registration for Monday, 19th July 2021. Already there are indications that the date or immediately thereafter may be a public holiday. We are also aware that some of the online registrants have scheduled their appointments for the completion of their registration on the dates that are likely to be public holidays. The Commission will meet on Thursday this week to review the situation and provide clarity on the matter. I wish to acknowledge the overwhelming support of Nigerians to the CBI exercise so far. I would like to reassure Nigerians that the Commission will continue to spare no effort in deepening the use of technology to ensure electoral transparency and credibility. The voters register in the heart is at the heart of any credible election. This makes this meeting with the resident electoral commissioners very crucial. We are working hard to ensure that just as we had a smooth takeoff of the online pre-registration, the commencement of the fiscal registration will be similarly huge free. However, the electoral umpire therefore assures all eligible Nigerians who do not have access to computers, no internet-based facilities for the online registration that there will also be an opportunity for physical or in-person registration at designated centers. Noting that enough machines have been configured with adequate training of officials to commence operation. Vincent Okushi, Quality Television. Jump.